All right, guys, day five of conductor training with Norfolk Southern. Um, your schedule is going to be different than mine, obviously, based on the group that you're in, um, but you're going to cover all of the same topics, and then one of your days throughout the week is going to look like this. This was my day five. And again, to clarify, all of the things I'm going over with you guys about conductor training, this is my experience. Some things can change with this. For example, the next group that was coming down, their schedule wasn't seven to four. It was four in the afternoon till one in the morning. So um, some people will come down and do seven to four one week, four to one the next. It just depends on how they rotate their schedule. But for our schedule, beginning of the year, um, coming down here when I did, it ran seven to four for both consecutive weeks. So we started out in the morning with lecture. Uh, lecture is two hours long. Today's lecture was based on track authority. So how long um, you have authority to operate on a track that doesn't have signals on it. So you'll get permission from a dispatcher to move from milepost X to milepost X. Um, so that was our, our lecture for the day. After that, we moved into e-learning, two hours of e-learning. Um, e-learning is, is kind of an electronic study hall that has an electronic lecture that you can listen through, which are always completed with knowledge checks that make sure you understand, understand what you just went through. Uh, today's was on paperwork. So when you get to work every day, you get a specific uh, set of paperwork that pertains to the job that you're gonna be working. Um, that'll cover the train consist. So what your train consists of, and also your train, your train clearance. Um, or your, your summary. Uh, that The summary essentially lets you know about what's in your path. So uh, if there's any bad footing on the path, if there's any signals out, any of those kind of things, that was the big uh, thing that we covered today. Uh, after we came back from lunch, um, we went and we started out with E, which was I'm sorry, D, which was brake platform. Uh, the brake platform is the entire braking system on a car that is essentially broken open. If you've ever seen a cross section of anything, uh, so you can see what the inner workings of it looks like, they took all of it and they compress it into a small space. So the braking system on a, on a car runs from front to back, but when you go up on, onto the brake platform, they stack it on top of each other. So you can see the retainer valve, you can see the brake cylinder, you can see the air reservoirs, all that stuff, and also understand how they function. Um, after that, which was one hour, uh, after that we moved into E, which was uh, doing a class one brake test or an A6 test, um, and a C100, which is a car inspection. So you'll walk one side of cars all the way down to the end, um, <clears throat> doing a car inspection and checking on all the things that you need to have happen in that. Uh, we're gonna do this one in two parts so I can kind of explain that in a little bit more detail.